What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Day 9 of the Double Master Showcase Box Topper Variant Art Name and Number Crunch. And it seems like we're getting close to the end now. Uh, as we see today, and I already have it up, we got the official spoiler in art for Sword of Feast and Famine, and it's a very nice looking sword. And the big spoiler today for us is spoiler number 344, which we always thought was going to be in the set, but now it's confirmed in the set as Thoughtseize. The reason why this spoiler is so big, though, at 344, is that basically it officially rules out Imperial Seal being a box topper art uh, variant card in the set. I believe in the actual name and number crunch for the set itself, there's still a chance that Imperial Seal is going to be in it, but I would reckon at this point that if Imperial Seal isn't considered good enough to be a variant of uh, substantial value, then they're probably not printing it within Double Masters, so we might just have to wait till some other time for Imperial Seal to be reprinted to kind of help with the price for the playability aspects of the card, maybe not so much for the collector aspect. So that leaves us with the 345 slot open. And it's looking like it's going to be a rare that's either black or red. Um, I was perusing through some reddits and some forums, and one of the funnier ones I thought was Balefire Dragon, because that was such a success with the um, Ultimate Masters. But Balefire Dragon is also a mythic, so it probably doesn't fit within the name of Number Crunch because we are pretty sure that our last two mythics are going to be Sword of Body and Mind and Sword of Light and Shadow. One strong thought based on the name of Number Crunch for the regular set and on this set is that Toxic Deluge would fit in this thought pretty well. So I see that as being a particularly interesting card to put in this particular spot. Um, I don't know how I necessarily feel about it. Um, just thinking about it the same way I thought about Fatal Push, but at least Toxic Deluge has more commander playability because of the higher starting life totals and just the need for sweepers in certain formats. Uh, probably, if it is printed and I do pull one, probably going to slot it into my mono black commander deck for sure but we are getting close to the end and it seems that the picture is becoming clear so what are your thoughts do you like the box toppers that have been spoiled so far are you planning to get any vip packs or buying any boxes just so you can get that coveted uh pack with the two box toppers in it to try and pull some pull something hot and maybe nothing, nothing here is really, I don't, I don't think anything here is going to be particularly cheap. So I think you're going to get good value out of those box topper packs. I, I, I feel anyway, um, we have to wait. We're probably going to have to wait, you know, probably at least 90 days after the set release to get a good gauge on what the price is going to look like in the medium term and depending on if these things are ever printed again, which they're probably not, look at what the long-term price is going to be. Um, you probably won't even really see what long-term pricing is going to be until at least a year out, if not a couple of years out. This time, this stuff takes time to appreciate and value. Uh, when it first comes out, it's probably going to be the best time to buy it if the prices are looking good. And I would buy them then if there's something you're looking for in particular, if you're looking for a place out of something. Particularly play sets, just because the scarcity of these items is going to come is going to grow and grow as time goes on. Because I don't think this is something that Wizards is going to be reprinting in this style uh, for a, for a long time, if if ever. They'll probably reprint the cards in playable packs and regular packs or something like a Masters pack, but probably not in this style of the full art. This might be the only time we'll ever see these cards printed in this style. With this kind of art they might be printed in a similar style later on with different art but that's down the line um if the goal is to make these collectible then this will probably be it for these kinds of cards but 
that all has to be laid out and that is years of beyond what I can forecast. So, what are your thoughts on the box stoppers? Well, what do you plan to get? What do you think about the cards that they chose? These 40 special cards that they chose to be the showcase cards for Double Masters. Feel free to comment below. I always like reading the comments. I know some people were on my on the train with me hoping for Imperial Seal and I'm disappointed. I'm sure they're going to be a little disappointed too, but it'll be okay. Maybe we'll get Imperial Seal and something like Commander, I think it's Commander Legends or something along that line. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. At least I know you watched it. And if you could subscribe, it really helps me out. Growing that subscriber count is never a bad thing. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and goodbye.